Nick Avocado Drama. Mm, boy, he's been going through the big weight loss thing that shocked the entire internet. And it's all just a dream. And it's all over with. It's all a social experiment. But you guys let me know in the comments that you're not buying his whole, he's a new guy kind of thing. He's, he's, he's even wholesome or anything like that. Because he's got drama with YouTuber Stephanie Sue. Ooh. And which I didn't know anything about this before you guys told me about it. I, I com have completely missed this. But apparently, four years ago, Nick Avocado Avocado had a problem with Stephanie Sue, who is a YouTuber with 4.3 million subscribers. Uh, she does a lot of like kind of Korean-based um, like hour-long videos where she'll tell you all about like a topic. Uh, but she also has done mukbangs. And then you go like the most popular video she's got. She's like, why I'm scared of Nick Avocado Avocado. How Nick Avocado manipulated all of us. We got married. Congratulations. You know, like there's there's some there's some back and forth between uh, her and Nick about some things. So the thing that people pointed out specifically related to her is the panda mask. He's got the panda mask on at the beginning. Right. Stephanie Sue has a she's married. She has a husband who has appeared on her content and social media. And he wears a, the panda mask, the same one, the same panda mask. <laughs> And so people are like, is this really a shot at Stephanie Sue again? Is he bringing this back? How, uh, what, what is going on? How could he already gaslit her? Blah, blah, blah. You know, we'll go through all that. But then other people are like, ah, he's had that mask for even before their beef, you know, whatever. It's just, it's not a big thing. So we're going to go through the drama. We're going to, we're going to learn about it and we're going to teach you guys about it. Now I will, I do want to say this, the we, Mary, we found a good video that kind of compiles the multiple hour long videos that go back and forth down to 20 minutes and it was going, me and Dan were going to watch it. But then I realized that the creator that made it, uh, had some, some serious allegations and no longer makes content anymore. So we are going to use that video as a reference. And I'd wanted to let you guys know that that's what we're doing. So in case that you're going like, wait a minute, I've seen this video wait, and, and you know, then you guys are get calls out and you know, cause I don't you know, I just want to be honest. I just want to let you guys know what's going on, all right? <laughs> the past couple of days have been filled with just a lot of manipulation and a lot of Nikocado Avocado using his platform to threaten me and to bully me. It's coming out swinging. Okay. Nikocado yeah. is trying to threaten her and bully her. Wow. Ooh, I would never have guessed. Do you think? Do you think this is all part of like the social experiment? Oh, it's got to be, right? It's got to be right. Gotta He's two be. steps ahead. It's, it's it's just it's just for the social experiment. Or it could be that Nick actually likes the drama because people will talk about it. like the the no publicity is bad publicity kind of thing. You know? Yeah. You know, you've heard YouTubers fall into that a lot. Like you know, stirring up some trouble. Maybe I don't know. Let's learn some more. <laughs> so the video that she made about this uh, is very like well done. Like she's she's obviously intelligent and puts together very it puts together very well to the point to where you're like wow. <laughs> Nick done messed with the wrong one. <laughs> I had a breakdown and it was unlike any other breakdown I had. It was one where I felt shame, guilt, because I did say, I, I did say, I would talk about it. Didn't I? I don't know. He said I did. So in the video, she's so obviously like, that? she's upset. Like even the thumbnail is like a, a picture of her crying. And there, there were those people on the internet that watched it and were like, come on. Just, you know, stand up for yourself. You're overreacting. Nah, what, are you, what are you crying? All that stuff. You know, that, right, that right, kind of right. things happen. I was talking to Mary about this and I, I'm empathetic towards her, right? Because I imagine really anyone in the same room with Nick Avocado being Nick Avocado. Yeah. <laughs> you may, anyone is going to have a breakdown after having to deal with that for any amount of time. <laughs> Especially when he's in full character. Uh, yeah. Give me out. So while they were filming, uh, Nick kept trying, they were doing a collaboration, right? They were, they were working together. And so Nick kept trying to get her to talk about another YouTuber uh, that she, she didn't want to talk about. Like she, it was kind of like oh. trying to get her to talk trash. Right. And she yeah. like did not want to do it. She's uh, not with the drama like him. 
<laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't want to disclose all of this. I'm not comfortable with sharing this. This has nothing to do with anything. I think the story is like it was on his camera. Like it was kind of his. He he had the footage, and she didn't want to like. I mean, you don't want you don't want to go on someone else's stuff and talk a bunch of trash about people, and they have control of like the edit and can you know do right. stuff with it. You, you don't you don't want that. Like in, in preser- content creators and preservation self preservation mud flies both ways. And you don't just go and start talking a bunch of trash about people on someone else's when they have control of it to where you can't control it. Right. Right. <laughs> Cause then it can like, it can be misused and like used as a weapon, a weaponized against you in case like whoever is making the, the call outs gets backed into a corner and then all of a sudden they're like, throw you under the bus. You know, it's just, you don't, you don't want to yep. do it. Don't do it. And increasingly he looked at me with more and more shock on his face as if he was shocked and angry at the fact that I refuse to talk about what I told him in private. But you told me yesterday you wanted to talk about it. Then why did you say you wanted to talk about it? I guess she changed her mind. So it's it's a pretty shade move to do this. Uh, so you tell someone something in private, right? And then yeah. like you're out in public or you're on a video to the audience. And you're, you, you've like, I say something to Dane. I'm talking trash about someone. Dane's like, hey. You said this yesterday. Well, you know, why would you talk about it now? And then, you know, it's manipulation city right there, baby. That's what that is. Not uh, nice. Not nice. That's kind of garbage. Would you do that to me, Dane? Oh, man. Not. Well, it depends. If it was Big Ed, maybe. You know what I mean? But that's it. Only because I wanted to see the fight. Said fight you? Only because no. I wanted to see the fight. <laughs> but he kept going. And so the video ends. And I just feel really really weird. I don't know how to describe the feeling. It's not just scared, but it's also like almost like ashamed. Like, wow, I made him mad because I changed my mind. Did I change my mind? But I never had the mind to talk about Veronica. So she says that almost like she's felt like she's being gaslit. And I think the feeling that she had for Nick at that point was just uh, probably anger. Like, how dare you? You know? Yeah, for <laughs> Maybe, sure. Kind of uh, grossed out. Like, yo, dude, really? Yeah, but then it goes from there and uh, Nick is showing... He's going through messages uh, from Stephanie Sue talking about uh, the, this Veronica that's in question here. Like, it starts bringing it up and be like, oh, yeah, well, this is what she said kind of thing. This lady has so much upset feelings against Veronica Wang. It's like Nick's trying to instigate and just being like, she wants to talk about this. Like, maybe he wanted to be the one, like, break the news on his channel or whatever, you know, get her to talk about it. Right. Uh, but then she goes and shows uh, messages between her and Veronica, and they've squashed the beef. Everything's fine. Like they're like, look, like there's no problem. Oh, it's good. But he's posting We're all that good. Either way, <laughs> even after the fact. Yikes, dude. I am so proud of Stephanie for standing up against Nick this Nicotato. Veronica. He really is a mass manipulator. He knows how to twist things, and he finally just messed with the wrong person. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. So it seems like all the other parties involved are like, nah, yeah. <laughs> no, sir. It's wild. Even, even Veronica, the one that, like, I guess the alleged beef was with between Stephanie at one time is like, nah, it's, it's all good. Screw him. Just thinking about it, like, if Nick's doing that when they've already squashed the beef and she, like, wants no part of it, I can't imagine how petty this whole shot is <laughs> with the panda head once we get there, dude. I, I'm so ready. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, this, the video, uh, the, the things that we're going through, this all happened before he had the panda head. That, so that, that's like brand new. This, the stuff, this, all this drama was like four years ago. Okay. Right? Okay. Release the footage that you have where you interrogated me about Veronica. Ooh, then she calls him out. She's like, look, release the footage. <laughs> Show that, Nick. <laughs> Yeah, come on. Where's the, you, you got all this proof that you're not showing? Come on. I also had eight missed calls, some of them FaceTimes from Nick at the time. And later on, after all of this, there were some Instagram posts and stories that were made that I, I didn't know, but they were made while this conversation was happening. So the part of the story that I understand uh, from Mary talking to me about this is that they did that and then they were supposed to do more like the next day. Okay. Uh, or you know, and then she was like, "No," and she like pulled the plug on it, and like you know, gave him a reason or whatever. And then uh, uh, Nick started making Instagram posts, like making fun of her, but like <laughs> saying that he's not, you know. So they show like messages between different people of like you know the Instagram, uh, make like <laughs> I'm making some tea, like he's gonna like he's say he's gonna like expose her yeah. now. <laughs> You know, like, oh, she'll them exposing their drama. 
so she made the, she made that video and then like like Nick made a, a response video and he's like and he put, notice how she didn't even provide a reason as to why she was scared she she just said she was all of a sudden you know he's like yeah. I get trying to push like she's just trying to be the victim Meh. right can't do nothing right. but also you there's an element there of like why can't you just walk away. They said they were uncomfortable. So like him being like, you know, why, why didn't you do anything? Why didn't you walk away? Why didn't, you know, it's, uh, if she's like scared of him and you don't want to like suddenly act scared and then he's going to have a reaction to that, you know, yeah. I don't know. It's, it's, th this part is harder for me to understand, like being a guy, you know, I don't like would ever get in this situation, but I imagine being like a woman in like a, like a, a man you don't know's house. You don't want to, and you're already feeling scared of him. You don't want to give him more reason, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> To, to make you feel scared. I kept trying to find a way out. I mentioned multiple times in a very choking way, like, you guys don't need me. I don't even, it's ASMR. You guys don't need me. And he would say things like, Nick would say things like, Stephanie, we're all tired. <laughs> you don't need me. Let me get out here. He's like, we're all tired. You can't be like, oh, I'm tired. I'm leaving. No, you must stay. Which, and, and I guess I could say in Nick's defense is like, if, He's not reading like if he if she's not acting different, he doesn't realize that she's scared or anything yet. And he just thinks she's being <laughs> he thinks she's just being lazy. He's like, we're all right, tired. What are you right. doing? You know, so it's right, yeah. just him trying to be sassy. sassy. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to get there tonight. And that sounds crazy even to me, like me saying that right now. I sound crazy. Stephanie, you are 24. You should have got up and left. But I just couldn't. I was just so scared that I couldn't. So she goes through and beats herself up for not leaving, you know. And then, again, like I said, it's the internet. So there's the the small group of people that are like, ah, yeah, boo-hoo. And then the people that are like, oh, yeah, you know. So it kind of, we talked about this already, but like that kind of reaction from the internet. And then like like people wonder why people don't speak up when they have problems. Yeah, you know? right. Exactly. If I'm mean, if I'm an asshole, if I'm soaking up the drama because I like it, people already know that. There's no secrets there. No secrets there, Dane. You yeah, know, no secrets. He's just an a-hole. <laughs> no see. I mean, it was all a bad dream. It was a social experiment. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> it's all part of the social experiment. Yeah, he's not a narcissist. I mean, it's, 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 it's no secret that he likes drama, right? Because like, right, I, I, like. Uh, what was, I think I told, I got Felix to react to him and he was like, yeah. And then Charlie had did a reaction and he like did a video calling Charlie out and, you know, <laughs> making like a whole thing with like a CPAP machine. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, it definitely there's theatrics to it, but I, I, there's also a goal behind it. Right. So two steps ahead on purpose or is it just nature? I don't know. One of the two. So they also show like like she she posts security footage of like in her house of her like having a panic attack you know here's like to as like to show people it, it is, this is real this is happening right dude imagine imagine being in a setting that's so toxic so awful it's it's literally making your body shut down that's crazy dude like <laughs> i don't blame her I one said, bit for wanting to not record with this dude I mean, I even think it's wild that like having to consider putting that into a video and like showing people uh, like I don't like her own community. Yeah. Like uh, I, I, they were supportive of her 100 percent. Right. Yeah. It's <clears throat> it's the everyone else coming in for the for that tasty tea. That's going to be the uh, the nasty people about it. Listen, the cries were edited in. She cut mid cry out, cut mid cry out toward the end of the video, cut determined to make people feel a certain way about me. You're that that desperate to make sure people say, wow, look what Nick did to her. Huh. <laughs> Nick's, Nick's all fake news. Nick's over there saying that he's trying to make her look bad, <laughs> even though he was going to expose her. How the turntables. <laughs> At this point, I had already missed text messages from both of them separately, and I ended up calling Zach at 2.20. So this is the part where she talks about, like, they, they had more, uh, more stuff planned the next day, and then she had that night, and then she's... No, not she's not she's not going through with it. She says no, right? And then after she did that, said that, that's when Instagram posts started, right? And then and Nick also acknowledges it. I told a few other YouTubers, I tagged them on Instagram um, as well as my friends, and I they all know. I was like, they know the story. So <laughs> here's wow. there you go. You got you got in and out of sleep tagged, right? Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> and he's tagging all the T people. <laughs> Yeah, Trisha Paytas, all these people oh in there, right? Oh my gosh, dude. Wow. Yeah. So, so it's all in good fun, you know? It's just like, they know, they know the story. They know how mm. they were supposed to have a 
another day of shooting and she canceled. So I ha he had to expose her. I've just been in and out of sleep and I don't know what's going on, but you know, I got things to do. I just got, ah, I got things to do. You've been, have you been in and out of sleep? In and out of sleep. How petty. Like, do you what gotta be? Dude, like, she was a dude, I just say, fight the guy. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, yo, tennis man, square up, dude. Like, this is crazy. God, it was so funny. And we're like, in and out of sleep. In and out of sleep. Social experiment, Dane, don't forget. Social experiment. He's not a, he's not a he, he was just socially experimenting being a bully at this point. And he's got a history of stirring up drama for sure. And I mean, I even, I even made a comment about like a, like a collaboration he did a couple of years ago where he was on someone else's channel. And, uh, that person was getting a lot of views from working with Nick. And we, me and you, we made a video about it to where I like pointed out, I'm like, man, he's getting a lot of views and a lot of subscribers off this. And you know, Nick's, he's not really getting anything. And I don't know if it was my fault or our fault because we called oh, it no. out, but they didn't work with each other anymore after all that. Uh, <laughs> I that. And I asked him like what happened, but uh, they said they can't talk about it. So I don't, I don't know what actually happened. So. Oh, wow. Which is like interesting. When you say you like, you can't talk about it, that, that like, leads you to believe that like there's some legal yeah like something's going on but uh Golly. only time will tell right when i made the in and out of sleep joke that was my way of feeling better from my perspective <laughs> after all the shenanigans we had gone through the day beforehand where she like complained and moved the schedules around and i still did it it's business that makes him feel better dane it makes him feel better you know she was she was kind of he didn't like the way she was acting before and she's kind of canceled him so now he's like <laughs> Yeah, you're getting that sleep. You can't slow me. Uh, All this drama just over that. <laughs> and then like, he does it's business, right? It's just business. This is how you treat your people you do business with, I guess. It's brilliant. Wow. <laughs> but the thing is, <laughs> is that uh, like, obviously he says it's business, you know, it's, it's for content. And then in her video, she claims that, you know, she saw it more as like, like trying like a friend, like not just business, like kind of like trying to be friends and working together and having a good time kind of thing. Yeah. She waited till the sun went down an hour before the sun went down, 3.30, 4 p.m. to say, I was in and out of sleep and I have a lot of sponsors. And now she's letting people believe and egging them on to think that I was making fun of her. I'm victim shaming by saying in and out of sleep. How dare you? Yeah, he sounds super sorry. This is... <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what, this is a great apology video right here, this little clip, yeah. the snippet. Wow, way to, way, way to be sincere. I can see it's it all. <laughs> There's a lot of projecting going on in this right now, I feel like. It's a lot of like probably how Nick feels about things and he expects that other people feel the same way he does and so he's just like expecting this, if it's true, expecting all this terrible thing, but more, more likely than not, it's just a spin to his audience to stir up more drama, right? You just say whatever you want and like, what, what, what's gonna happen? You know, what's, what bad's gonna happen? Just more drama, more views, right? But aside from like that part, there's there's more to her uncomfortableness, right? Or, or, or being scared of him, uh, <laughs> about Nick being, being allegedly a little creepy in her house. She used the restroom and when she came back, she had checked the security footage to see that I was taking photos of her house without her knowledge. That is 100% a lie. And so if he was being a creepster around her house and taking pictures and filming himself or we you know whatever he was doing without her permission, why didn't she release the security footage? Since she has security cameras in her house, it showed her, you know, having, having her, her panic attack. Um, and she goes over in her own video of why. Because oh, in California, it's a two it's a it's a two party consent law. You can't film someone even if they're in your house and release it to the public <laughs> without their permission. Oh, wow, <laughs> it's kind of like it's kind of like the doctor disrespect thing. The doctor disrespect thing. I didn't do it, and you can't prove that I did legally. You know, right? Legally. <laughs> Nick, give me your consent because you claim that I lied about so many things, whereas my home security footage says otherwise. She's like, give me your consent. Tell me Let's I can go. release it. <laughs> <laughs> Way more confident. Wow. She's like, all right, buddy. This is no one's fault but hers. She deliberately edited her video in the beginning with the title, the description to be this way. So now he's like, she did this on purpose, even though he's the one that started it. You know? <laughs> yeah. No kidding, dude. Imagine being a creep and not getting it and not understanding that you're that guy. That's that's nuts, man. <laughs> well, I mean, these are allegations, you know. You know, just there's just we're just going over what the story is, Dane. I, I, I'm, I can't really say either way what the truth is. So she made a post uh, later on that uh, you know 
it keeps going that where it's like he posted my security monitor on his video plus mentioning specific location information about my house in another video do this i have obtained attorneys to handle this matter going forward Oh, 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 wow. Getting the lawyers involved. Oh, my goodness. So that's kind of a catch up of like the 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 base, the base story. Right. And again, that's, that's like two, three hours worth of videos involving all that. So there's a lot more like little details. If you want to look them up and check out Stephanie Sue's channel, you can probably go back on Nick Cotto's channel and see his replies. But um, yeah, no idea this happened. And co comment section, let us know. There's like, hey. Mm, I don't know, man. Wow. That that panda hat there at the beginning, that, that head is a little, that's a low blow. And so you, you go, he's made um, his big, you know, like a phoenix. He's resurrected his career. And he's right. getting like, I think his, this view currently at the time of the recording has like 38 million views. He's passed 4 million subscribers. And he's talking about being the bad guy, you know, in the video. He's become the villain. Is he going to leverage this newfound audience and become even more of a bully? Or was it all just a social experiment in the past and he's a brand new Nick, he's a new man. It's all different, right? Mm. Mm. I don't trust YouTubers anyway, either way, so I'm not <laughs> Yeah. Not holding my breath. But um yeah, if you have any if you guys have anything else to add to this video that, that we didn't talk about and we didn't that we don't know about, let us know. Uh I look forward to reading your comments. Very interesting. Thank you guys. But that's it. Thank you for watching. Leave more comments. Do all that cool stuff. Today's your birthday. Happy birthday. Stay toast, my friends. I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Creator Clash. Social experiment. <laughs>